This flu season, a flu vaccine is more important than ever. The COVID-19 pandemic has brought on many public health challenges. We can all help stop the spread of germs and prevent the spread of respiratory illnesses like flu and COVID-19. Wash your hands for at least 20 seconds. Avoid touching your face with unwashed hands. Stay home and away from others when you're sick. Clean frequently touched objects and surfaces. Get your flu vaccine to protect yourself and your loved ones. The more people vaccinated, the more people protected. To learn more, visit our website at sanantonio.gov forward slash immunizations. Do you need help making ends meet during the COVID-19 crisis? The City of San Antonio's new Emergency Housing Assistance Program provides assistance to pay for rent, mortgage, utilities, and internet access. As part of the assistance package, cash is available to pay for groceries, medicine, and fuel. To see if you qualify, visit www.sanantonio.gov slash emergency housing assistance or call 311. Now tell them, say, we are Praise Cathedral, Church of God in Christ. I don't believe I have a witness, but the Bible says that when praises go up, blessings come down.
remain standing for our prayer this morning. Our Father in heaven, we come to you today. Oh, Lord, we just ask that you stretch out your mighty hand upon each and every one. Bless all the Christians everywhere, God, no matter where they might be. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Bless your name. Lord, we ask that you be with each and every one, uh, every one of us that even right here in this church, uh, <clears throat> lead and guide us according to your own special way. Lead and guide us according to the word that's in your Bible. But, oh, God, most of all, we also ask that you stretch out your hand upon each and every one uh, within this nation and within even the entire world. Uh, give us the unction, God, within ourselves to want to follow your word because we know that what you have waiting for us uh, on the other side of this journey uh, is the best thing that we could ever have. Oh, my God. Stretch out your hand, Lord. Touch us. Uh, take us through no matter what the world has to offer. Uh, help us to get through any toils and labors. Uh, oh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, bless our hearts, God. Uh, touch us in our, firm, in our bodies. Uh, remove anything that would cause us to even have a doubt in reference to following your word. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, and most of all, God... Uh, be with us as we continue our journey. Uh, Lord, be with each and every one, uh, even as we talk to other people uh, about what your name can do for us, uh, about what your name can do for them. Uh, oh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, Lord, bless and touch. Uh, bless and touch no matter what problem we have. Uh, oh, hallelujah. Uh, bless your name, God. Uh, Touch those that came in to say, to see us in person. Uh, God be with those uh, who might be looking upon the internet. Uh, oh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, and most of all, God, uh, be with those uh, who may have a Bible to look in. Uh, you let them look through it uh, and go by your word. Uh, oh, hallelujah. Uh, bless your name, Lord. Uh, and Lord, we say thank you. For everybody that has come unto you uh, already, and Lord, we say thank you for those that we know that you will be drawing unto your spirit. Oh, hallelujah. Uh, bless your name, Lord. Uh, we say thank you, and thank God. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you giving you all the honor and glory, Lord. Lord, as I pray for this nation, 
as our president does. We pray for unity, Lord, not division. We pray for love, Lord, not hate. We pray for togetherness. We pray for loving one another, Lord. Lord, as we pray for every single person all over this nation, Lord, we ask that you watch over our armed forces that are traveling abroad, that are deployed, and that are here, Lord. We ask that you cover our first responders, Lord, from the fire department to the, the police department to the medical field, the doctors, the nurses, Lord. We ask that you cover our teachers and principals and food workers, Lord, that go out and uh, teach these kids, Lord. Lord, we ask that you just have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Lord, as I pray right now, Lord, we lift you up, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We magnify your name, Lord, because, Lord, you are good, Lord. Lord, you are a way maker, Lord. Lord, we just thank you, Lord. We thank you because you are a provider, Lord. We, Lord, we thank you, Lord. Lord, we ask that you comfort the people that have gone through this sickness, who have lost a loved one, Lord. Lord, we know that you are a mighty God, Lord. Comfort their hearts, Lord. Lord, because, Lord, you, you are good, Lord. Lord, we just thank you. Lord, we ask for, your, we ask for unity, Lord. We ask for you love, Lord. We ask for togetherness, Lord. Oh, Lord, we just thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord, we just magnify your name, Lord. Oh, we just give you all the honor and glory, Lord. We say yes, Lord. Yes to your will, Lord. Yes to your way, Lord. Oh, we just ask that you cover this nation right now, Lord. We ask that you touch each and every single person right now, Lord. We ask for love, Lord. We don't ask for hate. We ask for unity, Lord. We don't want division, Lord. And we know if we look towards you, Lord, if we look towards you, Lord, if we look towards you, Lord, that you will guide us through. You will guide us through. You will guide us through, Lord. Lord, all I just ask, Lord, is you just cover us, Lord. Cover us. Cover us, Lord. Lord, I pray lifting up the ministries of this church. I pray that you would fill us with your word so that we can carry your word to those who do not know you. I pray that you would fill us with your love so that we can carry your love to those who do not know you. I pray that you would fill us with your spirit so that those who see us can see you. Lord, we pray that you would give us wisdom wisdom for carrying out the affairs of this church, wisdom for reaching out to people who do not know you, wisdom for recognizing the needs and the situations that people have as they are looking for answers. Lord, we ask that you would give us the right mind and the right heart to lead people to you. As we minister, as we serve, Help us to recognize your will. Help us to walk out your word. Help us to see what you see in the people that you are reaching out for. Help us to see what you see in the people that you sent your son to die for. Thank you for giving us eternal life. Thank you for giving us protection. Thank you for giving us your presence. We pray that you would guide us in carrying that so that when we meet those who don't know you, when we meet those who need their heart to be changed, when we meet those who need to hear your word, when we meet those who are looking for answers, that you will provide your answers through us, that you will provide your answers through the words that we give from your word, not from ourselves. Lord, we thank you for blessing us, for putting us in position to carry out your will, to carry out your mission. And we pray for all of the ministries. We pray for all of the auxiliaries, 
all of the people involved in this church who are working to carry out the work of your kingdom. We lift up our leader, Bishop Igohart. We pray that you would bless him with wisdom as he leads the efforts of this church to win souls to you. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen.
beautiful, beautiful song. There's been a great change. And I'm not the same since Jesus came into my life. Father, we thank you this morning for your grace. Hallelujah. And your mercy. Your goodness, your kindness. We love you this morning. We thank you for forgiveness of sin and deliverance and power and oneness with you. But we just glorify, we glorify you. We ask your blessings on this service and all that's said and done in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Amen. You know, my, my, my heart, oh, my heart is full today. It's full. It's full. And I hope you don't mind just letting me just worship God. I hope you don't mind if I just take a moment, God, to say thank you. Oh. You know, the song that Brother BJ is playing, I've been wondering, I said, Lord, why? All week, I've been just listening to that song. You may be seated. I've been listening to that song. And Tremaine Hawkins, she said, I'll never let you down. No more. Once I did, once I did let God down. But there comes a time in our lives when we need to promise to God that, Holy One, I'll never let you down no more. Well, I realize that the time is short, the day is almost night, I don't want to lose. I fooled around much too long. I've been lax, but I don't want to look back. Give me the strength that I need to be able to succeed. And our strength comes from God. If we're looking to find strength in someone else other than God, we're looking in the wrong place. So that's why I weep, that's why I moan, that's why I'm sorrowful, because I look around and see how some have chosen to go in other directions. They've chosen to put their allegiance with other things, the things that are not profitable. But I said to myself, Lord, even though I've done wrong in my past, I'm making it right, I'm making a vow, I'll never let you down. No more. No more my, no more my will, no more what I want to do. God, you're in charge. And this is the Bible history. God is in charge. We're not in charge of things. We don't run things down here. God does. So I cry out. I cry for my family. I cry for my friends. I cry for my loved ones. Help us, God, to come back to you. Help us to turn away from where we were, turn around and go back to God. And you know, the good thing about God, he's not like us. He's not putting a stumbling block. He's not putting something in your way to stop you from getting back to God. He makes it easy to return to him. He's put his spirit within us, and all we need to do is respond to the urging of his spirit. And when we begin to respond to God's urging, when we begin to respond to the tug that God has placed in our hearts, then, then we can say, I'll never let you down. Because we've made that connection with God. And it's real to us. There's an unfortunate thing in our lesson today. is dealing with the situation. No, oh, that's good. Never, never, never. Oh, 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 never, I never let you down, no, no 
more. It's an unfortunate thing in our lesson today. We're, we're dealing with a situation where cities have had gone back against God in Genesis the 18th chapter and the 20th verse. Cities have had chosen to deliberately go against God. And what do we see today? <laughs> Folks deliberately, purposefully, intentionally have chosen to go against God as if to say in your face, God. And we know this is not the way to treat God. If, 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 you, want, if you want blessings from God, if you want favor from God, in your face is not the way to treat God. Not the God that I serve. Maybe some other God that you might serve. But the God that I serve, we, we honor him. We, we don't treat God like this. Genesis 18, chapter, verse 20 says, And the Lord said, Because the cry of Sodom and Gomorrah is great, and because their sin is very grievous, I will go down now and see whether they have altogether, whether they have done altogether according to the cry of it. So in history, there comes a time when, when you know, what, 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 you know, they say, oh, you're, you're too big, you're getting too big for your britches, or what's another a colloquialism, they might say, uh, 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 you, 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 you bit off more than you can chew. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you wrote a check. Oh, okay, <laughs> never mind. All right, so, so there comes a time when we, we've gotten to the point where we think, you know, uh, you know we're going we gonna to fight against God. Then, that, then God says, okay. God says, I'm going to go down now. I'm going to come visit you. I'm reminded of a, a, a song where, the, where the, the, the pretty woman, oh, her fame was throughout this, the town. She was so beautiful, and she heard some, somebody knocking. said, who is that? And, and it was death. But death wasn't coming to see her. Death was coming to see her neighbor. Anyway, long story short, eventually time went on, and it was time for God to call her home. He said, well, when you, when, when, well how, let me know before you get here, well, when your steps started slowing down, when your wind wasn't as much as it used to be, when things began to wrinkle up a little bit more than what they had been, God is sending us a message today. Oh, <laughs> hey, he, he, even told, he even said, I'm not always going to strive with man. So God is in charge. What we want to do is do the things that please him and honor him. He said, because their sin is very grievous, I will go down now and see whether they have altogether done altogether according to the cry of it, which has come unto me, and if not, I will know it. So we need to, I'm putting myself in a yes, Lord. I'm aligning myself with the, with the will of God. I'm, I'm, I want to be in subjection to, to the great God that, that we serve. Is that all right? Uh, title of my message today is Don't Look Back. Uh, you know, God is, is a, he's, he's, such, he's such an amazing God. You know, he, and, you know, and we are too. Because, you know, when, when we were little and we were young, you know, uh, parents, you know, we, we were sort of gracious, you know, to our children, you know. We, we allowed them a, a, a certain, uh, you know, a level of tolerance. We'd be down, we may be downstairs and we hear a big thump. Did you hear that? Yeah. I wonder what's going on. Well, I don't know. Then all of a sudden you hear this. Hey, 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 we... Hey, something's going on. I'm going to go see for myself. So, as a little warning, cause a ruckus if you want to. You know, cause a disturbance if you please, but God's going to come see for himself. 
What would we, that's what we want from God. We want God's order. We want his, his direction. We want, we want his, his authority in our lives. Let me, let me move on. And, and I'm, 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 I'm uh, going to Genesis, the 19th chapter anyway. So the story is this. Angels, God sent angels to visit Lot in Sodom and Gomorrah to see what was going on. But the city of Gomorrah, uh, Sodom, was such that uh, men were very vile. And so God had to act. And in the 19th, uh, the 19th chapter of Genesis, verse 11, we're just going to read a little. And they smote the men that were at the door of the house with blindness. And I wrote in my note, I said, the spiritual blindness, God matched it with a physical blindness. Isn't that something? So God, God is dealing differently. He dealt differently then. And for a moment, I closed my eyes the other day at the table, and, and uh, I was at the kitchen table, and I closed my eyes. I, I, first of all, I said, Gia, come here. And, I, and when she was coming, I closed my eyes and I started doing like this, trying to see where she was. And she was just out of reach, but I couldn't see it. But she began to kind of, it was kind of amusing to her. But to me, it was almost terrifying in that just for that moment, I said, I can't even find my, I can't even find my grand and she's right here. So God, he smote the men that were at the door of the house with blindness, both small and great, so that they wearied themselves to find the door. And the men said unto Lot, Hast thou here any besides son-in-law and thy sons and thy daughters? And whatsoever thou hast in the city, bring them out of this place. Verse 13 says, for we will destroy this place because the cry of them is waxing great before the face of the Lord and the Lord has sent us to destroy it. And Lot went out and spake unto his sons-in-law which married his daughters and said, up, get you out of this place for the Lord will destroy this city but he seemed as one that mocked unto his sons in law. Isn't that the mercy of God? They thought he was playing, but, but, but Lot had received, whether the angels were telling him, that Lot spoke as to what the angels had spoke to him. And when the morning arose, then the angels hastened Lot, saying, Arise, take thy wife and thy two daughters, which are here lest thou be consumed in the iniquity of the city. And while he lingered, the men laid hold upon his hand and upon the hand of his wife and upon the hand of his two daughters, the Lord being merciful unto him, and they brought him forth and set him without the city. And it came to pass when they had brought them forth abroad that he said, Escape for thy life. Oh, God. Escape for your life. Look not behind thee, neither stay thou in all the plain. Escape to the mountain, lest thou be consumed. So I'm, I'm, what I'm just in, in trying to be endearing to us, escape, run for your life. When you see danger, avoid it. When, when we see trouble, avoid it. Because our lives are connected to the decisions that we make. Yes. Yes. So we have to make sound decisions. That's why I said, don't look back. Right. Time is short, but let me move on. And so I asked a question, well, in Genesis 19, 24, here's the meat of the 
message, 1924, says, Then the Lord rained upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven. And he overthrew, he overthrew those cities and all the plain and all the inhabitants of the cities and that which grew upon the ground. But his wife looked back from behind him, and she became a pillar of salt. So I asked the question, what would cause someone to look back? And I wrote the scriptures that 1 John 2, 15, warns us, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world is the, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. It's not of the Father, but it is of the world. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. So in the world, the lust of the world is not going to take us anywhere profitable or good. The pride of life, the lust of the flesh is temporary. It's not making us, it's not bringing us any closer to God. And we're commanded to don't love the world because, uh, neither thing, because the love of the Father, if you love the world, the love of the Father is not in you. He said, what would cause someone to look back in affiliation with something that was in the city or someone that was in that place caused her to look back in remembrance of what once was? And I wrote, said, don't get caught looking back and not ahead. So what happened, uh, uh, Lot's wife, she got caught looking back. When the angel said, don't look back. And God, God was a little more stringent in his response to our sin than he is today. Thank God for Jesus, his grace. So, so if, if you do look back, don't go back. Is that all right? Don't, don't go back if you have to look back. Don't go back. Because going back denotes giving up on your dreams. Uh -huh. Because if you give up on your dreams... That someone who's re relying upon you to accomplish your dreams will never get to where they want to be. Because I gave up on my dreams. I went back. So many of us are connected to each other in a way. Your success uh, embodies my success. So if you, give, if you go back, the dreams that I, I, I need you to accomplish, I will never see. So what do I do? I spend my time encouraging do your, uh, do your work. Uh, yeah. Do that thing. Uh, yeah. be, be successful where you are. Yeah. Go on and get that degree. Yeah. Go on and pass that spelling test. Go on and do the best you can. I'm so proud of, of my friends, my people, my family. Man, you're accomplishing things. You're doing great things. Because every time you accomplish your dream, yeah. it makes my dream a little closer. Yeah. <laughs> Don't go back. If you go back, your little ones won't have anybody to lean on. If the trees never uh, uh, grew limbs, where would the little birdies go? Where would the little itchworm go if, we, if the plants never be, began to grow? Don't go back. But go, but go ahead. Move ahead. Keep doing that thing that God has called you to do. Keep being that person that God has called you to be. Look, I'm still trying to move ahead. I was a rascal. <laughs> but I hung around righteous, righteous people. And that righteousness began to work on me. And God's goodness began to tell me I could do it. That I could be somebody. Is that right? He said, yeah, you could be somebody. How do, I, how do you know? How do you know? Well, look at the one over there. They're getting it done. They're trying to get something accomplished. You can do it. 
Man, first little, one little step. Then another little step. And I felt stronger. And I kept going. And kept doing. And kept moving. I said, hey, I can get this done. It ain't so bad out here. Look at all my friends and family over around. Look at all my brothers and sisters. Hey, we y'all doing it? So that's what I want to say. Don't go back on your dreams. Don't go back on your hopes for the future. Let's, let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's move ahead together. We, we've made it this far. Let's, let's accomplish that thing together. Let's put our hands, let's trust God together to help us to get the things done that he wants done. I'm not going back. I'm not going back. I've been in the back. <laughs> you can't see what's up ahead. <laughs> so when you look, <laughs> when you look into your future, let's, let's go with God. Is that all right? Y'all pray with me this prayer. Lord Jesus, forgive me for all my sins. I believe that you died on the cross. You were buried. And on the third day, God the Father raised you from the dead. Right now, Lord Jesus, I open the door to my heart. And I receive you into my heart as, the, as my Lord and Savior. Amen. Let's, let's press toward the mark together, saints. Thank you.
Now tell them, say, we are Praise Cathedral. Church of God in Christ. I don't believe I have a witness, but the Bible says that when praises go up, blessings come down. 